This week's blog post is on the James Fountain, also known as Charity, or the Union Square Drinking Fountain. When prominent politician Roscoe Conkling died in 1888, his friends commissioned a portrait sculpture from America's leading sculptor, John Quincy Adams Ward, and requested permission from the city to place it in Union Square. The request was denied on the grounds that Union Square was to be reserved for American heroes, and that Conkling, a New York politician, was not in the same class as Lincoln, Washington, or Lafayette. So, why was a sculpture of a woman with two small children erected there? The clue is in the pedestal. The four sides of the granite base had lion's heads that dispensed water. Drinking cups attached by chains allowed passers-by to quench their thirst. The lack of hygiene may make us shudder today, but in the era before bottled water, such public fountains were considered useful amenities. Not surprisingly, they were promoted by advocates of temperance, such as William Earl Dodge. The pedestal of his portrait sculpture originally had a drinking fountain as well. Another 19th century drinking fountain in Tompkins Square Park is guarded by a copy of Torvaldson's Temperance. The figure in Union Square represents a cross between two allegorical figures. Temperance usually carries a water pitcher, as she does in Thorvaldsen's figure. Charity is usually shown surrounded by infants. See the paintings by Van Dyck and Bouguereau at the upper left. The group of figures in Union Square also harkens back to images of the Madonna and Christ child with the young St. John the Baptist. See Leonardo's and Raphael's versions. This sculpture and its pedestal were donated by philanthropist Daniel Willis James, who transformed Phelps, Dodge, and Company into a major producer of copper with the help of his cousin, William Earl Dodge, whose sculpture stands in Bryant Park. Like Dodge, James was a major charitable donor, and he hoped this work, in Union Square, quote, shall be the means of kindling in any heat that spirit of love, charity, it is intended to illustrate, end of quote. In guidebooks, this sculpture is therefore known as the James Fountain, or Charity, or the Union Square Drinking Fountain. It's the gentle side of Union Square. Fifty years after the James Fountain was erected, tastes in sculpture had changed radically, among New York's elite at least. The Armory Show of 1913 introduced modern art to Americans. There's a link to a post on that in this blog post. The works... On the right, those four works are all from the Armory Show. In 1929, Abby Rockefeller founded the Museum of Modern Art. Non-representational art became what the cool kids loved. There are always cool kids, you know. Mildred Adams, writing for the New York Times in 1931, commented on the sculptures in Union Square, including Washington, Lincoln, Lafayette, and Charity. Charity, she says, is, quote, an unnamed woman with two children on the western edge. On the park plan, she is called simply Bronze Group, and that is what she looks like. All of them make one feel singularly hot and uncomfortable as they stand out in the midday sun, silhouetted against signs with no proper setting and nothing to do. The traffic speeds and jerks and hoots beside them, and they have no relation to it. No kinship with taxi drivers in greasy shirts and bare-armed truckmen swearing at limousines. They do not even afford shade in which a tired workman may sleep, and one may, at the risk of offending the act defining treason, even doubt whether they are ornamental. That's Mildred Adams, an article called Orphaned Statues of Our Parks, erected by private organizations which accept no responsibility for their upkeep, they fall into decay or suffer sadly from soot and weather. New York Times, August 30th, 1931. DianeDranteWriter.com has hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, Central Park, and my other obsessions. To join the free Sunday recommendations email list, visit the URL online or email me. And you can say, well done, Diane, or support my work on a recurring basis and receive rewards by means of the tip jar on dianderantywriter.com. Thank you, as always, for listening.